OK, well, this game may not decide who wins the title, but it may well decide who loses it. Your commentary team, high up at the Santiago Bernabeu, Jerry Armstrong and Rob Palmer. You say we're high up. I imagine they can see the stadium from the moon this evening. 400 million pairs of eyes are cast on the beautifully illuminated Estadio Bernabeu, a lush green stage where some of the greatest ever entertainers in the world of sport bid to outmarvel each other tonight. Lionel Messi against Cristiano Ronaldo, just one of the many matchups of some of the top talents in world football. As always at Real Madrid, the entry to the stadium is perfectly orchestrated. Those are white flags, but not white flags that are going to say that Real are going to give up the title. At the moment, of course, this game is second against third in La Liga because Atletico have taken charge on their head-to-head -head rulings by winning earlier today. But this is one of the most season-shaping matches that you're ever going to see. Well, not a seat to be had inside the Bernabeu. Down on the uh, streets today, the tickets were going for around 900 euros. Well, let's have a look at the teams of Real Madrid first of all. Their side really selects itself for Carlos Ancelotti. There's no experimentation this time. He can just hear, of course, is restricted. To playing cup keeper Diego Lopez looking for his 13th clean sheet of the season. Gareth Bale withdrawn after 61 minutes of the new camp in October, but he's fully fit and he's fully initiated now. He'll be providing a silver service to Cristiano Ronaldo. And when it comes to Barcelona, well, their selection was more tricky. Tata Martino has tinkered with his team. The team that blasted off the Sula for seven last week. Pedro and Alexis have both scored, replaced by two arguably bigger names, the expensive recruit Neymar and Cesc Fabregas. Can he shake off Alves? That is a good strong tackle. We have the uh, Spanish media today are telling us that Undiana Mianco is one of the referees that lets things go. Here is Neymar, one-on-one -on -one situation, and he forces the first save of the evening from... Diego Lopez. Outstretched leg here, that's that's the tackle, it's not a free kick for me. Outstretched leg of Gareth Bale, nicks the ball just in the important time. This is the breakaway from Neymar, and there's the tight angle I was talking about, Rob. Carlos Piol has played his last Clasico for Barcelona. Modric. Well, his last league at Clasico, of course there's still a chance that Piol may play in the cup final. But here is Benzema. Bowing down on goal, that's the man who scored that yes. in 11 games here. Yeah, Rob, you're right, 42 goals for and only 10 conceded. Here's Lionel Messi. Here's Messi on the blind side, is Iniesta! Did he make that pay? Lightning strikes at the Bernabeu. Well, he's not been in the goals this season that much, but look at this finish. Lovely time pass from Messi. What a left foot strike. He scored a cracker with his left foot last week. Oh, but look at this first touch out from underneath his feet. That is a thunderous strike. And no way Diego Lopez is going to stop that. What a goal. Well, he does specialise in scoring goals against Real Madrid. And that is his 50th goal of his career and one that he's going to cherish for the rest of his life. And look at the relief of Martino. Meanwhile, the Spanish director is facing. Gareth Bale, deep into Barca territory. Trying to feed it to Benzema, there's a foul off the ball. Benzema continues, and no strength in the shot. Yeah, good break there from Gareth Bale. Show really going to cause a problem for Victor Valdez. Marcelo. This time, swiftly into the area, lets it back, Benzema! Fluffs his lines on the big stage. Well, that was nothing short of sensational, the run from that man, Di Maria. What a run! He's gone past three or four Barcelona players like they're standing still. And he tees it up so nicely here for Karim Benzema. What a, a, a poor finish that is from a top striker. You've got to put them away. That's a fabulous...
many years comes Barcelona control the ball look at that the control from Messi bang on side can he finish it no Lionel Messi could wow what a great chance for the little man to increase the lead and there's a lot of people appealing for offside appealing for offside and he's not as the ball's paid you can see Marcelo steps up it's in the end Alves for company on the far side he decides to go solo Neymar stopped at first base by Pepe Di Maria brilliant ball again to Benzema Benzema toe-to-toe -to -toe with PK. Ronaldo chance now it took an awkward skip off the surface but always safe 30 out of the last 31 only of course Atletico Madrid crucially beat them here this season oh, look at Messi this. great ball Neymar takes it in his stride has to steady himself stopped once by Pepe and then Pepe was uh, in contact wrong side though before the build-up Rob I have to say Marcelo was wrong side look you can see Neymar's got five yards on him and he really has to hit the turbo to get back in again transfer Santos apparently only got 14 million of that Bale that's a second step Bale Di Maria's cross Benzema fighting what a goal well Valdez got a hand to it he'll feel he should have kept it out but Benzema is away celebrating well this game certainly living up to the bill and Rob that's a fabulous cross from Di Maria, who's been on form from the first kickoff. And you're right, you can see the shake of the head from Victor Valdez. He does get a hand to it. But the power in the header, it's generated from this cross. He towers above everybody, Karim Benzema. Super cross from Di Maria. Look at that header. And he gets his hand to it. It's just too powerful. He can't stop it. The power of the header from Karim Benzema into the top corner. I believe oh, Valdez oh, thought he'd save that, and he was waiting know. for the replay, but he doesn't want to see. It's end-end end stuff, it really is. Chances either end, and it's who's going to take the most opportunities. We're in for a real spectacle of football tonight. Entertaining, enthralling. Always exciting. Fourth of the game gone. Di Maria has space, cuts it in. Benzema! Oh, he's second! Oh, my goodness. Di Maria got off his sick bed to create that one. And it was a Benzema blast. Well, he might have missed the sitter in the first seven or eight minutes, Karim Benzema, but he's made up for it since. And what a game. Di Maria's haven't done this left hand side, Rob. He is on fire. I don't know what sort of medicine the physios give him on the touchline, but he's come back again. Bigger and better. Look at this. Lovely run, plenty of space, head up, cuts it in, chest control, and then bang, back of the net. Another wonderful piece of skill from Di Maria and Karim Benzema. Fabulous goal. And they're in front now, Real Madrid, and the fans are going crazy. Well, this is nothing. It's Di Maria. I think that's the plan given to Di Maria. Di Maria is having an exceptional game. My Gets goodness. the cross in. Benzema waiting, his hat-trick is denied by Piquet! How this game has turned. Rob, I don't know how he's getting past him. Di Maria looks like he's been caught. He just powers past whoever tries to stop him and gets in cross after cross. Unbelievable passage. Jordi Alba. in the game, bounces off Ramos, plays it into Neymar, slow to react, but Messi's not! Oh, ho, ho. Lionel Messi individually brings Barcelona back into the game. Uh, oh, 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 there's a problem. Incident off the ball, Rob. And the referee Pepe. instinctively reaches for the card. And it had been a rather friendly Clasico until that point. Well, Pepe's down and out. Yeah. Well, it all kicked off. It's something and nothing, was it? 
Well, they're both play acting if you're asking me. Somebody going to get the ball out of the box and we've got about the quality of the goal and Messi's great first touch. He played the little one-two, got the rebound, stuck in the bottom corner of the net, which is what he does best. And Lionel Messi, 32 goals for the season, 19 in the league. And that's a big one, a massive goal for Barcelona to bring him back. Time. Top goal scorer, 372 goals, they tell me now that he's got. And as I say, they're not any bigger than that one. That's a huge goal for him. Well, it is as well. I'll give you another Moving snap, on. Jerry. And this is the build-up to the goal, Messi. A little bit of good luck there. There's a tackle. It's actually, I think, Carvajal who nicks the ball away. But it goes straight to the feet of Messi. And Messi comes in and sticks it in the bottom corner. To end. Pure entertainment. Classic, classic go. Oh, Carvajal. Half stop by now, but he won't go away. Come on, cross the line. Benzema. Oh, my goodness. He scored two. He could have had five. Wow. By Gerard Piquet. This one is so close to the far post. It's untrue. We're talking a couple of inches wide of the far post. And Pepe. Bell. He impose himself. Oh, look at this. this. Great run from Gareth Bell. Bell to Benzema. What a Brilliant save. start by Valdez. Danger hasn't gone away. Cristiano Ronaldo. Di Maria. Over the head of Benzema. Bell comes flying in. But the referee saw that as a foul. Oh, that's a good challenge, I thought. It was hung up at the far post, but what a scintillating run from Gareth Bale. He explodes through the middle, and great ball to Kareem Benzema. Amazing one fell through, Ben. Di Maria. Now Ronaldo. Into the area where they have to be careful. He's down. It's a penalty. As soon as he crossed the white line, the alarms were flashing. Dani Alves isn't happy, he was the culprit, Rob. Great feet, great feet. I don't know what Sergio Ramos asking. He's, is he complaining about the not getting the free kick for Di Maria? Look at the quick free feet here. He, he looks outside when he actually gets contact. Well, he clearly thinks that it was a goal-scoring opportunity and he would want that to be a red card. I think he's maybe stretching things, Jerry. I think he is stretching things. And I'll tell you, uh, this is outside the box. So you're here. There it is. It's at least six inches outside the box and he falls in. And that's going to be a big controversy to if them. It scores. If Ronaldo scores it. Ronaldo! At it again. On the big stage, in the big game, he gets the big goal. 26 in the league, Rob. 42 goals for the season. A massive, massive goal. Oh, super goal, great strike. Keeper guesses the right way, but Cristiano puts enough pace and power and accuracy into that bottom left-hand corner. And Victor Valdez can do nothing about it. But it's all going to be about the controversy. Was it a penalty or not? Because for me, he was contacted. Puts it across. Benzema regains a little lovely backflip. Bale, and it needed saving. Valdez got all of his angles correctly worked out. Oh, when these front three are on song, Ronaldo cuts it back here for Karim Benzema, who can't get the shot in, tees it up for Gareth Bale, tight angle, shot on target, good save, big save once again from Victor Valdez. Close for thought. Xavi takes his time, surveying who's making the movement in the centre. Comes out to Iniesta. Oh, some shot. Oh, it looks like he's taking a flexion, I'll tell you what. It's a snapshot from the edge of the box. Left footed again from Andres Iniesta. Let's have a look. Oh, it must have hit Gareth Bale because it didn't. So we're really having to dig in here. Messi. Good ball. Perfect pass. Neymar, big chance, taken down. And that's a penalty. A red. And a red! Well, the law says it has to be a clear goal-scoring opportunity. Some may say he was going away from goal. 
but even then he had a chance of scoring. Udu has a pretty big rap sheet, gets his 19th red career, red card of his career. Well, is he offside, Rob? Not just leaning offside. That's the question, and he doesn't need to pull him in. Marcelo was maybe even just still a cover player. It's a bit harsh, the red card, I think. Now the world's eyes are watching Messi. Wow. And Messi does what Ronaldo did and makes it 3-3. Very emphatic finish that one. Steady run up and hammered it with the left foot. Well, what a game we've got now. 3-3. Three, three. I don't think he does touch him, Rob. He doesn't look as if he makes that much contact, if any contact at all. Well, he does there catch his left leg. There may be the slight touch on the left, the left leg. leg. Yeah. Flicked. Barcelona playing games here with Real Madrid. Oh, oh this! Crashes off the post, falls to Pedro. Scrambled away by Rafael Varane. What a strike from Dani Alves outside the box, Rob. You can see it's teed up here by Messi. One touch, bang. Bottom right hand post straight out again. How lucky was that? Lucky for Real Madrid, unlucky for Dani Alves in Barcelona. Pedro. And Mascarano. Be rare if he scored. A couple of seasons at least, isn't it? Four, Jerry. Four <laughs> years since he last scored a goal. Fate and say he hasn't played on a losing side this season for Real Madrid. Since he came back, the last time they lost was against Barcelona. And Xavi played the game after that, and they haven't lost since. Oh, it goes down, down, and the referee took no time at all to give the third penalty of the match. I have to say, it didn't look. My first reaction was it didn't look like a penalty. The Real Madrid delegation. Iniesta took the ball. Well, he, he's tried to go in between a space that wasn't really there. He's done well there initially. Was it clumsy from Alonso? It's going to be clumsy, but I think he's looking for it, Rob. You can see he's just trying to get into a space that's not there, and he throws himself to the ground. He has scored tonight. Even the great Lionel Messi looks a little pensive. It's Messi, and it's a massive goal in La Liga. It keeps Barcelona's season alive, and it may mean that it's not goodbye to Tata Martino just yet. A little Messi hat trick. The little genius has done it again. There's a substitution, warmed up, stripped off. It's Isco down in the touchline. He's going to come on. I don't know who's going to be replacing, but Isco is coming on, and it's gamble time now. They've got seven or eight minutes to save the game. I wonder will he go with the defender, a full-back? Well, still they complain. And Xavi Alonso has taken it maybe a few words too far. That was a brilliant penalty, wasn't it? Top corner, unsavable. Well, he, he, unless he has so much composure. I've heard somebody drop a pin down at touchline level. It's that quiet inside the Bernabeu. And the referee signals the end of a dramatic match where the referee has been a central figure in it. Two penalties, a red card, a messy hat-trick, a goal early on. He's had everything. You can see the Barcelona players celebrating as a complete team because this has put them back, Jerry Armstrong, in the title equation. It certainly has. What a fantastic result. They needed to win more than Real Madrid needed to win. Madrid went in front 2-1. You know, they were 3-2 down. They've come back to win 4-3 in a sensational match. A seven-goal thriller, Rob. And, uh, well, they'll all talk about the penalties, what should have been, what shouldn't have been. Well, now you know why they call it the Classico. It has been just that, a 4